Endgame side this time we see again the, the ASAPs that they used very effectively last time just to the Kalian Militia. Um, so less than what they used to play with some... Opening is here. Both of the towers as well as gate is open. The far right um, tower is not there so definitely... Yeah, let's see if any unit decides to also bring up their units that are currently down on, down below. We could see Susno on the side watching uh, from uh, all the way on the side of the walls. And we see that the Team Kittens actually do the standard rotation to B. Let's see. And they can dictate the tempo. They can dictate where they want to go. They can dictate what they want to do. And the distraction is coming in through the gate. They are coming in, going back, coming in, going back. You know, see if they can actually catch and get near out of rotation as we can see that the guys at the gate have moved up on a point yes and they moved through the right tower this was a very good decision because no one was defending this and we can see a rush from team kitten with fake push on the far side first was they were able to catch and get of guard and get there moved quite a few players over there but then quick rotation back from team kitten and they are going to have majority of forces for now on the A point. They're rotating though, so this should be going to be heavy fight on A. We can see advances coming in from Team Kitten, going to hold in place all the Endgegner, but Gavinio very well placed here in behind. He was just pushed down, but he blocked the A point cap for like one minute or so, so very, very nicely done from this perspective. And then another part of Kitten team was here from these stairs, catching off guard the this side of rotation from Engegner and seems that this is going to be fine, fine finished up to the base but uh, yeah the map is there the, all the plus points outside all the B points outside are Team Kitten and Engegner with full force yes this is going to be full force attack so let's take a moment here very amazing trebuchet is going to fly in and really damage a lot of units from Engegner if few of those will hit and they hit but too late so very well played from Engegner on the reactiveness over here. Magner with two units, sorry, there is Magner and one more player here on the flank shooting from behind, so this is going to be quite effective. But in the meantime, Susno going to flank a little bit and Team Kitten going to split in half. I think they tried to heavy push it, but they've seen that there is a lot of resistance, so they decided to split and send some of the players to the cap. But novelty, very well done here with Pikes closing out and back pushes and the fight is still continuing over here plus point is captured by team kitten and they are able to push and get there away so right now and Gagner are in a quite uh, heavy spot because every unit they lose they cannot retake or heal back so this is going to be very very heavy for in Gagner long term if they are not going to be able to either recapture this point or maybe recapture some other point because you know they still can flank and this is what we can see is happening right now from novelty he's moving with fights on flank going to try to help his friends and many short swords are in the plus point blocking the attackers from healing back this trebuchet is going to be very deadly if it hits and it does so many stalwarts are going to die yeah interesting and so far uh, in the first attack uh, it was actually team uh, uh, team Endgegner that uh, won with 130 units more killed so and if we look at this fight uh, as well, I think it's and actually Endgegner that has lost a little bit more. We can see that they've both lost an equal amount of uh, units at, the, at this point in time. How much more aggressive on the main cap? I cannot show you unfortunately both ways, but for now here they are preparing. And here as well they are pushing. Endgegner are much more force right now on the back point, so they are going to hold them here quite easily I imagine, but here it's quite equal, so we'll see if that, where that goes. Advances coming in, one advance used, second advance used as well. We can see some Halbert Sergeants fighting forward. Actually two of those, so very interesting unit choice. And pretty much all pikes. So all pikes set up from attacker, from Team Kitten. Shields just barely arriving, but this is too late. All of the pikes, yes, they have nice damage, but they don't have too much survivability. All wiped out, all gone. So... Yeah. Just yeah. look at this for the Bracho use, it's amazing how they move in with three of them at the same time. We could see that the kittens actually managed to get on the supply on the top side, but it didn't look like it was enough as the army just clean up whatever's left of uh, Team Kitten. Um, Team Kitten actually seems to be on the supply in the top, but I think it's just a couple of heroes and 50 more units and Endgegner hardly lost anything in this battle. 
Yes, but still, some of the units from Angegder were quite heavily damaged and they need to go to the back plus to uh, heal up. And this is what they, we can see what they are doing currently. And this time, this will be used by Team Kitten. They are pushing right now again. One advance to the left, one advance to the right. Nicely coordinated. Condottier is pushing in the middle, going to put additional pressure. And we can see a lot of pikes once more used. And they are slowly winning the fight slowly gaining the ground but and Gegner they have more players in the back they have some horses around they have some pikes some stalwarts still coming in magma as well from the back with cavalry but this is covered nicely by the halibards and uh, yeah a lot of fights are happening in multiple places seems like this is still quite equal in terms of units left alive Trebus is flying in behind everyone so they are not going to catch anyone I believe unfortunately not and uh, yeah, another advance coming in from Gegner, another charge coming in from Gegner. They are closing in all the remaining players who were here from the push. They are left without the units. Team Kitten are slowly crumbling under the heavy attack. Gegner is winning this battle currently very big because look at the supply uh, that's from Kittens uh, close to B. They are also losing that one as Gegner takes it over. So it's going to take even longer for Kittens to get ready for this next attack. But they only have 360 units left and more is getting cleaned up as well. So I don't think Team Kittens is able to make a quick uh, quick comeback here, if they even can make anything happen at all. And Gegner is going to use what they have to just kill as many units, not allow Team Kitten to prepare any additional attacks. And we will have to wait these five minutes, I guess, for the battle to finish because with the main towers or, or, or whatever. So. Whenever you have this quest, you can use this to your advantage. Yeah, and amazing. the red team is victorious. No more spawns, so actually it ended. 25 seconds before the clock. No more respawns, it ends automatically. It's nice to know. Uh, in the next matchup where it goes. Here and we are going to see Endgamer attacking this time instead of defense. So Team Kitten on defense, of course. Let's start with attackers. We can see two muskets, one spear, and a lot of for the broad show. So maybe that's part of uh, what they just learned from um, from Endgegner. Um, uh, quite a bit fewer stalwarts this time, you know, overall, and also some javelins, of course, trying to take down the, the Martatroid that are pushing it or serves it is, I think, since there's no shield. And uh, that is a successful trap, I think. Wow. wow, yeah, this is quite an amazing trap, even though it pinched. And Team Kittens is expecting a big rotation, but it looks like Endgegner is going to just go for A. So for now, team, uh, Endgegner actually probably has the flank on A. But if the Kitten team on the wall uh, manages to move onto A, they can actually flank uh, Endgegner also. Now, as I said, Endgegner choosing both sides, going to push. We can see similar flank from the Javelins as Lamaland used last week. So I guess some similarities are here and there, but for now, Team Kitten, not too many units. Yes, they have them blocked yeah, out. There, there is the Endgegner Special, the Kali and Militia on the flank to open up the, the, the shield walls. And look at this, it's so effective. They can move in straight away. Those Star Wars are not doing anything anymore. And we will have to see if uh, Kittens actually responds fast enough in getting back on the A point. But this is a big, big push from Endgegner. Yeah, and the uh, amazing thing that Endgegner did this did here was actually shooting across. They have used the soldiers from this side to shoot these stairs and the units, ranged units from this side to shoot these uh, stairs from the back. So basically all the javelins were thrown in the back of the defenders just on the further side away. And in this mean, in the meantime, I mean, Team Kitten, they were not staying AFK. They were still pounding them with a lot of javelins to keep an eye out because right now we can see both teams pretty much full purple units so they are still going to have the, their preferred units available more or that much two times land next i believe are coming in three players fourth player is coming in climbing here from the back and in the meantime they are creating a full-on push from the front one player with pikes covering behind but yeah they have a lot of players here a lot of Zikalian Lysia, uh, double Namkas as well. So very offensive in terms of the damage. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the front line is still pushing, even though they have so many ranged. Let's look at the let's look at the back. Let's look at the other fight that's coming in. Look at this Endgegner is coming in from different directions. As Kittens is also trying to come in from the back of Endgegner, but I think it's being caught by Endgegner as well. Yes, so the yeah. team team of Endgegner are rotating to cover their back, but cut point clear, empty pretty much. One Namkan unit left. One pike unit left and that's it. And they are going to use the trebuchets to close them in. 
tank mobile, the last player alive from the defenders from Team Titan. Okay, we have two people who came in with supplies, but zero units yet. So this is looking quite tragic for Titan right now. If this flanking team will not be able to get in time, it might be over. Yeah, exactly. This flank from Kittens on the left side of the or the right side of the screen, it, this is going to be very important. It looks like they're losing out because that was so important because uh, you can, as you can see, the trebuchets can hit Team Kitten re resupply so hard that it looks like they might be quick enough with the Berserkers coming in. Look at that. They're rushing in. Yes. Uh, and Gapner can regroup though, perhaps quite fast, uh, faster than Kittens can right now. Army just come in. But they turn their till and looks like it's a small win for kittens this time. At least they survived. Yes, they did indeed survive, but with what losses, right? They have lost, yeah. uh, they have, they are 300 units left, mm -hmm. less. Yeah, very happy losses. They are over 650 units lost and Angegner only lost 400. So they are 250 units down on kitten side. Quickly, and this is going to happen in a very short time period. The Angegner team regrouped very fast, going to create another push. This time, full force one way in. No flanking mambo jumbo, just full force on forward and they already captured the corner they're going to close the defenders counter push with the trebuchets they are also covering their back i believe right now and yeah the fight is moving in condottier is rushing in the back end to create uh, as much distraction as they can in the back some of the shields are still covering here on the left side but they are pushing right now so full force stalwart Four units of Stywalt, I believe, are moving forward. Some javelins as well, cavalry charging from the left. And Team Kitten using their pikes right now to counter advance. Seems like they don't have too many units left right now when it comes to the melee. Only javelins here on the right side and on the uh, upward. And halibards coming in from the spawn. But other than that, they just have a couple of ranged units left. And then get their heavy pushing forward. They lost quite a lot in this push, yes, but they still have quite a lot left. So seems like this initial fight where Team Kitten lost the units they wanted to have was very painful for them. They cannot use the units they want right now. And look at that. Cavalry left, cavalry right, cavalry from the north. Everywhere, three units of cavalry from Entgegner charging around, playing with what's left. And only six players alive for Team Kitten. I don't think they will be able to hold this one. No, I don't think so either. Look at this. There are so many stars of Rotterbracho in front of the, the camp. And there's still six trebuchets left as well. You can see Kishapisha and Kronos on the side. Uh, they can't even get in uh, down below from the stairs. So Kishapisha, he actually can, but he's going to be the last one that will be able to. GG, well played from Endgegner. Yeah, well played from Endgegner team on winning 2-0. They, they hold matchup here performance from what they have shown us yeah exactly and if you look at these stats you can see that uh, kittens had to fight pretty much all the time 